a three-time author. Her latest book, which is the pride of her career, is entitled Your Classroom, Their Playground. Ms. Yusen specializes in helping teachers, number one, establish and maintain rituals and routines that perpetuate I started teaching at Tubman Middle School. I'll never forget this place. It groomed me. It made me. The school year started in August, but I was hired in November. That was already working against me. My teammates, the other three on my team, already had rapport with the students. They already had their jail, their team thing going on. And here comes little old 25, 26-year-old Miss Eusen, who knows nothing about nothing. I had a journalism degree. I loved writing. I loved reading. And I knew I could teach but I knew nothing about curriculum. I didn't even know there was such thing as standards that I had to teach. I just went in there and just did what I had to do. And in my interview, the principal said, Miss Houston, if you can teach here, you can teach anywhere. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Now I had heard some stuff, you know, in the community, but for the principal to say that to me, I said, okay. So I get into my classroom. I had a Promethean board, it didn't work. The pen was gone. There was nothing in my room, y'all. And teachers are that way. I don't know why we act like that. Because the room had been dormant for so long. There was, you know, it was, it was vacant for so long. They went in and took everything. All I had was construction paper. And I had this. Sadlier Oxford vocabulary. There was a class set in the teacher's manual. I kept it all 15 years because it carried me. I knew that if my students were going to read and write well, I knew vocabulary played a huge part in it because I remember that from when I was being taught. I remember that working in my journalism program. I knew it. I got in there because the children were begging me. They had like four permanent substitutes before I got there in November. Permanent <laughs> substitutes before I got there. And they were begging me not to leave. Those children were ready for consistency. They were ready for someone to love them. They were ready for someone to teach them. And these were the hard kids, the ones who didn't want to learn is what I was hearing in the community. Not so. I went in, I loved them, I taught them the best way I knew how. I lost hair, I lost weight, I lost time with family. I almost lost my mind because it was so hard. They threw me in and no one helped me. I had to figure it out. But I want you to know by the end of the school year, we're in our last faculty meeting. And the principal says, and the highest ELA reading CRCT scores for all of the school, Miss Houston. I said, what? And I didn't even know that was a thing. Like I knew we had a standardized test at the end of the school year. I did that when I was in school. I wasn't trying to teach to a test. I wasn't trying to figure out a way to be the best. I didn't even know there was a ranking. But sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, Miss Houston had the highest CRCT scores in all the school. And all of a sudden, teachers who hadn't said anything to me all year, everybody in the school, all of a sudden wants to talk to Miss Houston and figure out what she did. What did you do with those students that had them running circles around everybody else in the school? What did you do? I know that COVID has been just, I don't ever wanna minimize how horrific it's been with the deaths that we've experienced. But I have this ability to see the positive and what a lot of people see negative. And there's a wave of teachers that are being pushed out to make room for you. You're that new wave. You are necessary. You're the new wave. You're who we need. You, teacher, are necessary. It's time. It's time for teachers, as I said in the video, who are fresh, who are passionate, who are excited, who are knowledgeable. This is why you're in school. I know Georgia Gwinnett is teaching you. You're getting what you need. You need that knowledge, but you need to be well-equipped and relatable. You all are closer to these students in age. You're listening to the music they listen to. You're watching the things they're watching on TV. And there are some of us who can just get into any room. I can go into any room and teach children, regardless of the age gap, whatever, because that's just what God gave me, okay? That's just what it is. But there's something to be said for those who are fresh, close in age, relatable, knowledgeable, and into the things that the students are into. 
There's just something there. And there are too many teachers right now that don't have that. Y'all, you've got everything in a bag just being who you are. That's number one. It's time. Ms. Yusan, on behalf of GGC School of Education, our faculty that are present, our students that are present, based on the feedback um, and comments that students and faculty have both put in the chat, first of all, we want access to your videos. Um, and if you could just link a social media link or something in there where we can um, catch up and follow with you. We want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you. It, this was a, a timely moment because lots of our students are, have already accepted jobs Yay! that are on the call Yay! or are in the process of interviewing. And this is a very, your, your presentation was timely to help them conceptualize their value, their worth, their need, with the tools that they can implement yes. in their new spaces. So we thank you from one New Orleans girl, and I think we've got one other <laughs> in the house <laughs> to the other. We think that, that was what's up. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad. Yes. I'm so glad. I'm reading the chat. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for your kind words. And I'm glad it was an encouragement. I'm glad you're inspired today. Um, I want to visit all of your classrooms. That's the hardest part of this job. It's like, I want to go to every classroom of every teacher I've ever spoken to. I want to see it. You know, that's the hardest part of it. But definitely staying connected on social media. Let me put it here since you guys asked for it. I am at Miss Houston Teaches everywhere. That's Facebook. That's um instagram that's twitter i'm there i also have a youtube page if you'll just look up miss use and teaches i do two minutes for new teachers every tuesday so two minutes for new teachers that's how i say it you'll see that and then my website um if you want to order your book i'm gonna give this one away and i'm gonna tell you how we're gonna do that in just a second this is your book so if you would go ahead and email me your address and guess what that email is? Miss Houston teaches at Gmail. <laughs> and if anyone else just wanted to email and say hi. But Jasmine, this book is yours. I will mail it out to you um, immediately. Thank you so much. I, I really enjoyed the stories. I, I loved how you kind of walked us through with the stories and um, it, it's, you know, all of those, all of those, uh, the, the power elements are all in there and it just, it was, it will stay in my mind because of those stories. Oh, well, thank you, Doc. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you again. You're welcome. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you so much for thank completing you. the survey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Great. 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 Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -mm.